hi this is a what's in my bag video this is actually a photography video and i'm sorry about the noise but we have really annoying neighbors um so basically i'll be showing some of the stuff that it's in the photography bag that i don't have a lot of idea what it is but it's there for a reason so i'm gonna start with this lens um it's called a quanta ray i think and it's a 28 to 90 millimeters lens it says here is macro so one macro lens for the back which is pretty cool i think and another lens that i have in the back is this pretty fancy nikon lens it has a lot of buttons in here which um i think they are there for a reason and um and a lot of stuff you can actually switch it back and forth like this and it looks pretty cool especially if you're trying to impress somebody you just go like Psh, and then it looks pretty cool um it says is a i have no idea what this lens is um yeah i have no idea oh, okay here it is it's a 16 to 80 millimeters um and it's from the Nikon brand, I guess. Okay, and then I have this other one that it's it is pretty cool too. It doesn't have this little umbrella kind of thing or however you call this thing here. But it does have this thing over here. And this lens is also Nikon. And it's a infinite to 1.4 meters. I don't I don't know how to read this. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm reading the wrong number. It's a uh, 55 to 300 millimeters. And it also has, like, it only has two buttons. It doesn't have three like this one. But um, I guess I guess you can do automatic and manual on these ones. Um, but they do look pretty fancy. They are pretty cool. Um, but this one doesn't open as big as this other one, which I think, you know, could make a difference in your pictures and stuff. So, um, that, we have this one, and then we have this little bitty tiny one that, um, it's a, I'm bringing the wrong number again. It's a 35 millimeter lens, and it's also by Nikon. This one is tiny, tiny. Um, it doesn't go like up and down like the other ones, but it does have this thing. And you can actually choose manual or automatic, I think, in this one as well. And it looks pretty tiny cons like against the other ones. Looks like a little family of lens right there. And uh, it seems pretty cool. Um, okay, so we got this lens right here which looks very very old it looks very 70s and it's very heavy compared even to like this one that looks bigger but um this one looks like it was is like made of like a lot of metals like there's a lot of stuff inside it doesn't like i can't see what it is really i don't even see the brand it has a little thing with the fire on the top, but um, I don't really know what this is, but it's right there. There it goes. And um, and I don't know why, but we also have this really old Nikon camera, and it's a film camera, and it has this really cool stripe on it. Like it goes with the time that it was actually made probably. Um, and it's, a, I don't know what kind of camera this is. It's an, it, it says EM on the front. And it looks pretty cool. I don't want to open it because I don't know if it has film in it. Um, and it has this little bitty tiny lens that looks really cool as well. So that, there it is. This, this cool thing is also in the camera bag. Um, what else? empty i think oh okay no it's not empty we got this really 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 heavy 
And also, wait. Also, I think it goes with this family over here. I don't think they're the same brand though, but they, well, maybe they are. They look pretty close to each other. Um, and these, it's a pretty cool lens. It goes like up and down like the other one. And it has a lot of lines and stuff that I don't know what they mean, but they probably can have some really like cool effects on your pictures. And this one says Vivitar Series 1. And I, and I like really it doesn't say what lens they are. I, I mean, I'm not seeing it. You probably could see it, but I can't. Uh, you want me to open it? Oh, oh. This one's have it in here, which is really cool and really smart. Um, the Nikons have it in here, but this one it's on the actual lens itself. So it's a 70 to 210 millimeters, I think. And it says micro focusing zoom. So I guess it's to take micro pictures. And it looks, it's, it's like, it's heavier than even if I take two of these lenses together. This one is heavier. Um, so I think this one, it's again, a very old lens that it's very well preserved, but um, it was probably done at the time where things were done the right way, I guess, because it is, it looks really good for its age, which I'm assuming is at least 20 years old or something, because it's really heavy and it, it has like a lot of bright stuff, which I like. Um, and you may be wondering why I'm showing a lot of stuff that I have no idea what it is, but I wanted to show some of the stuff that I always find around my house because I'm married to a photographer. So there it is. This is this little collection that he probably cares more about them than he does about me. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Um, and that's it. We're gonna go look into yet another bag because I have another bag full of stuff like this um, that we're gonna go take a look about. So I'll be right back with the other one. Okay, so in the last bag, it, I found out that it was full of lenses that I always thought that, you know, one lens would do it all, but apparently I was totally wrong and you need a, more than a couple to do the things that you need to do. Well, this one looks like it has a lot of cameras. Well, not maybe a lot, but compared to other people, I guess. Um, so this is the first one. This is the, well, a Nikon camera, and it's the seven, D7000, and it's pretty nice. It's not as, like, I think that lens that I showed you before, the Bibitar was even like, heavier than this camera um and it's really cool has a lot of buttons in the back um i've never well i kind of used it a couple of times but with all the settings already preset for what i tried to do like i was trying to do little bouquets last time and he just put all the settings for me and i was just like chick, 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 doing this stuff because i really don't know how to use it a lot but I really like it. I was supposed to ha have this as my camera. Like this was supposed to be my baby after he got his other camera, but I really didn't use it as much as I thought I would um, because I, I really don't know a lot about it. So I should learn. I'm gonna say that real quick. Okay, so what else do we have? We have this little thing that looks pretty cool. Hold on. Move this. Okay, the next thing is a little thing that looks pretty cool. And it sounds pretty cool. And it's a Nisi set of filters. I don't want to touch them with my fingers because I know I'm going to get them all dirty. But... Um, tall it's to keep the light out when you want to do like longer exposures and it 
I don't want to break. And it's really cool. Um, has a couple of rings for different lenses, I guess. Um, that's as far as I know about this stuff. And I know you put it in your camera and then you slide the little um, glass here. And I know they have like really dark ones and they have really light ones depending on what you want and what you want to do. So it's pretty cool. I like it. And it comes in a really nice bag, which is I think is my favorite part about this. There. And then um, we have other things here that I don't know what they're for. I can't even take this one out. Okay, so what is this one? Oh, uh, this one is a bunch of filters, just like the other one. Um, like that, and I think they may have an effect, like fish eye or something. I don't know. But again, I don't know who decided that the filters will come in like really cute bags but they definitely did a good thing about it. And they look really pretty. Um, what else? Here's another lens. It's again by Nikon. This one looks, it has a lot of wear and tear on it. Probably was used a lot. This one is a 50 millimeter lens. It looks pretty neat, it looks pretty simple, pretty small, but it also looks like at least it's like 10 years old because of the difference with the newer ones and just looking at the looks and the wear and tear and all that stuff over there, right there, which is pretty cool. So this is another little lens that apparently is very useful. Then we have this little girl right here and I've heard a lot about this camera and uh, we've traveled a lot with this camera and it's pretty cool. Um, does it have, does it have any, oh it does? Oh, okay, so I was gonna play with the little thing just because I like the sound it makes but it does have real film in it right now and i really like this camera it's again a camera i think from the 80s at least it's called the nikon f3 and i've been told it's kind of like a classic for film cameras so everybody loves them and it's really cool um the viewfinder on it oh my maybe i need to take the cap off well there's no lens on it but uh the viewfinder i think it's called this thing over here uh, it's really wide compared to like a camera maybe like this, which I like. And of course, it doesn't have a screen because it's a film camera and it's very old. But basically, you you know, whatever you see through that, it's whatever you're going to take. And I bet it was very frustrating for a lot of people to like think that they have the perfect shot and then they don't. They probably messed up the lighting or the focus or something like that which in the good old times when there were like all those cameras that were like throwaway cameras or like film cameras you know you were with your friends and you were like oh what this perfect picture and then somebody's like closing an eye or making a weird like stuff and um and then it totally messed up your picture but nowadays you know you take a picture and then everybody's like i want to see the picture and if somebody's doing something like that they retake it and that's a lot easier but uh, I'm sure it wasn't it wasn't the case with this one so I'm sure it, it was probably used for something more professional than what I'm talking about but um, it's it's a really nice camera it's one of my husband's favorites camera he actually had one and sold it before we moved and he realized he couldn't live without and he bought it again so I think he really likes this one. Um, uh, it's a film camera, so I don't think I will ever use it. Just because, well, I think I did try a couple of shots on this, but it's just so nice that I wouldn't dare to mess up all the film that he buys and stuff like that. So this is the 
this is the F3 right here um, I don't know I think there's some couple of things there's a lot a little nicks and nags oh here is my iPhone charger that I was looking for well I know where it is now um, little things that I don't quite understand what they're for like this little thing I think this is for the uh, memory cards like an adapter I mean it's for the oh it's for the XQD car that I think goes in like the D500 that we're using right now um, so there's a lot of stuff like this that it's around a lot of cables there is a lot of cleaning stuff which I think is what this is yeah so basically um, there is a lot of stuff like that the, I think this is to like clean the lens if it gets dirty so you don't have to do it with like a like a cloth or something it's called a oh it's called a lens pen so that kind of answers the question um, a lot of stuff like that that I don't really understand what it's for um, there is this wire remote switch I guess to take some pictures when you want to be in the picture I guess or when you want to be away from the shutter or or you don't want to move the camera I think I think that's what it's for I think that's what I've seen it um, uh, a bunch of business cards which is very important I guess um, what else um, I don't I don't know what this is I don't even know if this is for photography it says black diamond on it and I think it's like a light oh maybe it's like a light that you put like this in your face so you have some light like I have no idea what this is but it's there and um, the the camera back is pretty big and it he we usually when we go and travel somewhere we have to walk a lot like a lot and we've been to like the mountains we've been to the beach we've been to the Amazon forest and I feel like if he didn't absolutely have to have it, he probably wouldn't have it because everything that he takes, he has to carry around. And especially here in Peru, um, a lot of the times you don't have a chance to like be in a car or um, even like being in a horse or a monkey. I mean, not a monkey, a donkey. <laughs> um, but... Um, but um, you just have to carry whatever you're taking with. So um, one trip we did in the mountains where we had to go up in the mountains to like 3,500 feet above sea level, it was harsh. And um, I was actually trying to be brave and I actually took my own camera bag with me and he had to end up like carrying both camera bags and pushing me because I couldn't do it. So I, I think that everything that is in here is actually necessary because I, you know, he knows what it is to have to carry everything around. So this little thing looks like a, like a little, I don't know, like a little case. Well, it is a little case. And it holds the memory cards, which is pretty cool. Um, we have a couple of 128 memory cards and 164 and 132 so that's pretty cool and I think if I remember correctly this was like weatherproof I don't know if it's waterproof but at least I know that um, it will be protected from like the dust and maybe like light rain or something like that but it's pretty cool to have Um, this is another thing that I have no idea. Oh, it's just a regular. How do you call this? Flashlight. Flashlight, yeah. So he actually has two flashlights, I guess, for emergencies. I don't know. But there it goes in there. And more cables. I think this is for a flash. Because it's got this this funky connection over here. And this connection over here, so I think I think this is for a flash. We oh yes, so which is 
this one right here it's a Nikon Speedlight SB600 and it looks pretty cool it also feels pretty old I feel like my husband has a lot of old stuff just because we, he probably can't afford the newer ones but it's really cool and I think it, it disconnects somewhere in here or maybe to the camera like this and um, and somehow it works out with the rest of the stuff for this so this is the flash oh and we got another and we got another Nisi stuff which seems to be pretty oh okay so this is the one that has the actual how do you call this glasses lenses well i guess the actual filters you would say that are pretty cool they have a number and uh, this one says medium for example so i guess to give you an idea how dark it is if you don't know already you know if you can tell this one's pretty dark i don't see it, it almost lets any light in and there's a couple more but from my experience i feel that if i try to take them all out and show them i'm probably gonna end up breaking one of them so there goes the other Nisi with the actual filter so i guess these two guys go together the holders and the filters right there and last but not least this thing bye this lens over here that looks kind of hard it was hard to take out because of the little um i don't know what's the name for this i know it has a name i heard it in like multiple videos and um and my husband has named it a couple of times but i can't remember for to save my life i don't remember its name i think it's like a light cover no i don't know anyway so this is another nikon filter this one looks more kind of like up to date um it is a 10 to 24 millimeters and um, also it doesn't have a lot of buttons like the other ones but it does look like it's a little bit newer um so basically it goes like this and you can move it up and down and i'm sure you can adjust the um focus with this one and you can use it to do to do pretty cool stuff i don't really know what the different lenses are used for but I know that if it wasn't necessary, we probably wouldn't have that many around the house and around the place. So that's, I think, the last item that I had. I'm sorry I wasn't very organized to show them. But this is kind of like what I have to leave around. So I got to be very careful when I walk around things because he likes to leave them around. And of course, it would be 100% my fault. If I break one of these, it wouldn't be his fault. Um, so yes, um, this is what he has in his bag. I think he also carries the camera that we're using right now to film this, which is the uh, Nikon D500, which is his favorite camera so far. Um, and I just wanted to say that even though I have to be really careful with all this stuff and I have no idea what it is, and I know he took a lot of money from our bank accounts to buy this stuff. I know it's 100% worth it for him and it lets him do what he loves and it lets him be, you know, be able to express himself through his photography. I think this is, this is really good and I'm very proud of him for having all this stuff and for using it every day and for taking it 100 times a week in and out of the bags. Um, to just I don't know I guess count them I don't I don't know what he does all the time with it but um, I feel like we're pretty lucky to have um, I mean we don't we're not very well equipped I guess but at the same time I feel that we're really lucky to be able to have access to some of this stuff and uh, to be able to make it easier for him to 
to like express himself and show the things that he wants to show the way he wants to show them for with with all this stuff which i have no idea what they're for but he does and that's the important thing thank you